two American scientists are lost in the swirling maze of past and future ages during the first experiments on America's greatest and most secret project, the Time Tunnel. Tony Newman and Doug Phillips now tumble helplessly toward a new fantastic adventure somewhere along the infinite corridors of time. And? Our readings match. I think I can get a more precise measurement. Yes, there it is. February, 1861. Check. The coordinates are shifting. I can't get them to lock. Well, let me try, Ann. <laughs> Doug and Tony must be somewhere in that theater. But we just saw them in a barn. Why is that soldier on guard? Lincoln. Ford Theater. Assassination. Understand it. Lincoln was assassinated in 1865. The time reading is definitely 1861. Are you the man Abner sent from Frederick Bell? Uh, yes, he sent both of us. Good. I'm Matthew Gebhardt. Of course, you know my brother Jeremiah, who was with John Brown at Harper's Ferry. We will kill Abraham Lincoln. Is it possible that Lincoln was killed in 1861? That would mean someone impersonated him for the next four years. Lincoln is coming through Baltimore on his way to his inauguration. We will have the opportunity to kill him within the next 12 hours. Wait a minute. Seems to me I remember reading about an earlier assassination attempt against Lincoln. I'll program the history computer. What do you make of it, Ray? How could we have picked up that earlier time zone without Tony and Doug being there? I, I don't know. The obvious connection is through the two separate attempts on Lincoln's life. But it's almost as though the tunnel is making its own projection, independent of the probe on Doug and Tony. By killing Lincoln here in Baltimore, the Southern secessionists will be blamed. And in revenge, the Northern states will invade the South. And the cancer of slavery will at last be rooted out. You in there? Come out with your hands above your head. Oh, my God. 
No, Carver. I want to question him. Scott, get after the others. Carver, get a message to the train dispatcher. Order him to stop the president's train at the old depot here in Baltimore. I'll meet him there. Yes, Mr. Baker. Get on your feet, you. Get moving. Doug. The man who was with me. Here, yeah, this will clear your head. My friend, what happened to him? He was captured. We saw him led away. This morning train, we don't uh, live too far from the tracks. Can we get the dog? I don't know. Well, there must be some way. Who were those raiders? Some government man. We can't tell where they took him, though. Look, he's not important. Matthew, go look in on David. Yes. That raid happened so fast. I can't even remember what day it is. It must have been some clout you took on the head. It's the 22nd of February. The year of Lincoln's inauguration. 1860, 61. Still asleep. We'll have to keep our voices down. Our little brother, he's only 11. All right. Now, the three of us, I plan to kill Lincoln. The three of us can still carry it out. No, you can't. Those government men are onto your plans. They might know I'm after Lincoln, but they don't know how I intend to get him. Now, just keep quiet and listen. Jeremiah, it's impossible. I said keep quiet. Nothing's impossible. John Brown and just a handful of us took over an entire arsenal. And if a traitor hadn't exposed us... We'd have gone on to rally the entire nation to our cause. That's right. I made this. It's a timing dial. All I have to do is to set it for as long as I want. A time bomb? Yes. When this mark here reaches this one at the top, a firing pin strikes a spark. That sets off a charge strong enough to shatter a boulder. Hmm. Jeremiah worked at the arsenal eight years. There's nothing I don't know about explosives. Now listen. Lincoln's train is coming into Baltimore tonight from Philadelphia. While the train is being switched through the city to the Washington line. I'll hide on board and set the timer. It won't work. 
The train is sure to be heavily guarded. You'll never make it. What's the matter with you, boy? That knock on your head shake your determination? Listen, I've got a right to say what I think. Your whole plan is wrong. At the first sight of blood, you want to run. Every man came to that meeting prepared to give his life. Now you decide. Are you with us or against us? There's no in-between. Now, Jeremiah, that's enough. I want his answer. What I meant was that just three of us can't do it. Three is plenty. You and Matt cause a diversion while I get on the train. Hey, what's your breakfast? I'm hungry. Yeah, we'll fix you something. Now, you, uh, you go get dressed. I'll bring my clothes in here. In your room, David. Stay there till I call you. What did I do? Do as I say. What's that? David. Uh, that's, uh, that's kind of a clock. Now, go on. It's a funny-looking clock. <laughs> Feel better after we eat something. It's going to be the way I say. Even if we all get killed, you understand? Well, there definitely was an assassination attempt in 1861. Here's an editorial from the New York Tribune, uh, February 25th, 1861. It tells about the assassination plot, but it doesn't name anyone. Uh, this is strange. Two items naming different groups of conspirators. Oh, I think I've got something that explains that. This is Alan Pinkerton's record book. Let's see. He says, uh, yeah, several of the conspirators use code names. The whole thing seems to be controversial. Now, here's an item that says Pinkerton was hardly involved at all. And look at this. <laughs> From Leslie's Weekly. Lincoln's political enemy certainly had a field day trying to make him look ridiculous and cowardly. Well, here's something. Written by one of Lincoln's closest associates, Ward Hill Lehman. This is on advice of Mr. Judd, the president agreed to Mr. Pinkerton's plan to travel without his family and associates. Pinkerton's intention was to spirit the president through Baltimore and detect it. All right, now, from the beginning. Pinkerton, I've told you everything I know. I was in the barn and I overheard the conspirators. You're one of them, admit it. I was sleeping in the barn. Sleeping in a barn. Man, with your fine clothes, I had no money. You know that. You searched me. You carried no identification either, so if you were caught, you could lie without trapping yourself. Now listen, Phillips, or whatever your real name is, you can be hanged without a confession. Then why are you trying to shake it out of me? I want all the others. Give me their names, addresses, where their arms are stored, everything. And I'll do my best to save you from the gallows. All I know is that their ringleader's name is Jeremiah, and that's all I know. Where does this Jeremiah live? You admit he intends to kill the president? Yes. Either you're a fool or you think I am. If I were in your place, I'd be admitting it is all a mistake, that all I broke up was a card game. You confess to the plot and say you were an innocent bystander? Have you ever considered that I could be telling the truth? No, but I'll get the truth out of you. Scott. Yes, sir. Wait. It must be the president's train. What's wrong, Jeremiah? Train's coming. No trains do here for a couple of hours. We're going over the tracks and take a look. I don't want no one to leave here till I get back. You see to that, Matthew. Some more coffee? 
Yes. I'll get it for you. Ah! <laughs> Guess that'll teach you. I reckon it will. Thank you, David. Jeremiah's all wrong about Lincoln. I don't talk politics in this house. Well, sure you do. Leastwise, I always hear Jeremiah. Why don't you brag about big ears? Your brother doesn't understand what Lincoln's been saying. That's enough. Matthew, you and Jeremiah will never succeed in what you're trying to do. David, you go on out and chop some kindling and back. I filled the wood box yesterday. Now, never mind. Just do what I tell you. You don't have to hear everything that goes on here. Now, go on. Get! Sometimes you have to kill, even if you don't want to. We're like soldiers, and we're... We're fighting a just cause. But what about David? How long do you think you could keep him from finding out what you're up to? I don't know anything, and he won't. If you keep your mouth shut... You're fooling yourself, Matthew. You're refusing to call Jeremiah's scheme what it is. It's murder. And David's going to find out sooner or later. Jeremiah says killing Lincoln is right. Matthew, that won't work. Well, just because Jeremiah's giving the orders doesn't make you any less responsible. If you help him try to kill Lincoln, you'll fail, I'll tell you that. But you're going to feel like a murderer the rest of your life. <laughs> I want to hear no more. Now you just stay put. Additional delay. Another rumor? Not at all, sir. Against my better judgment, I let my friends persuade me to agree to this ridiculous plan of yours to smuggle me through Baltimore. Sir, if you let me tell you, I'll... By all means, tell me. But I'm tired of rumor and hearsay. There were conspirators, sir. I followed a lead given me by an informant. My men and I raided their meeting. They put up resistance. Four of them were killed, and I took one prisoner. But some of them escaped. And rumor has for once turned to fact. Until I'm certain the way across Baltimore is safe, this train must remain here, sir. Aren't we in Baltimore? Well, yes, sir, the north section of the city. This depot and most of the buildings in this area were abandoned to make way for a new road. How long will we be forced to wait here? I can't tell, sir. If, if you'd like to warm up, we have a stove going inside the depot. Yeah. Just a minute, Mr. Lincoln. Scott? Yes, sir? Bring that man out of here. Take him back into town and lock him up. Yes, sir. Let's go. Mr. President, come here. Believe me, sir, I had no part in any plot against you. I've yet to hear a felon insist that he's guilty. But don't
don't take him away yet. I want to talk to him. All right, sir. Take him back inside. Yes, sir. Sit down, you're making me nervous. We got him, Matt. We got him. What are you talking about? Got who? Lincoln. He's at the old depot. But he wasn't doing a city till tonight. Well, he's here now. I figure they intend to keep him there until they think it's safe to take him through town. They've played right into our hands. <laughs> it's fate, Matthew, fate. They've got your friend at the depot. All right, boys, now the plan is the same. Except instead of blowing up the train, we just simply blow up the depot. You can't. You'll kill Doug and everyone else who's there. Well, what's wrong with that? We'll get Lincoln, that's all that's important. Your friend will die for the cause. The livers turn yellow. So I'm gonna kill you now and save any further trouble. No, Jeremiah, you can't kill him. You gone yellow too? I won't stand for murder. You quitting me, Matt? I'm with you, Lincoln. That's that's different. You convinced me of that. Killing him is right. No, it isn't, Matt. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! Or I'll kill you no matter what he says. Anyone with Lincoln might get killed. You gonna balk at that, too? Well, if they're with Lincoln, I reckon we don't have a choice. Then what's the difference with this man? He's a traitor to the cause. I say we kill him. No! No, all, all he's done is disagree with you, Jeremiah. I tell you, if you kill him, I'm not with you anymore. You gonna stop me, Matt? I intend to try, yeah. All right, tie him up. Let the devil take him after we get Lincoln. Some people could be killed. Hey, what's the matter? How come you're tying him up? Go on, tell him, Jeremiah. Tell the boy what you plan to do. I'm warning you. Aren't you proud of yourself? Won't David be proud of his brothers? I am no he, David. He's a bad one who'd do Matt and me harm if he could. I don't understand. Well, someday you will. I get into that bedroom and stay put until Jeremiah and I get back. I got business at the depot. <laughs> into war. I can't believe anyone could be that mad. Nor can I believe that men of reason could be driven to war because of the president's death. Yet in times like these, such a mad scheme could succeed. But why me, sir? Why should men who want slavery abolished wish to assassinate me? I'm opposed to slavery, believe that eventually it shall cease to exist. Jeremiah is a follower of John Brown, sir. 
He wants immediate results. John Brown was hanged, and so shall anyone else be who tries to start a revolt. Slavery is an evil that men of reason will abolish by reason. I wish I could believe that, sir. But four states have already seceded from the Union, and others are certain to follow. Nothing is certain. Once I take office, I shall do everything possible to bring those states back into the Union. I know that, Mr. President. But I'm afraid war is inevitable. You believe that? Yet you declare Jeremiah wants to assassinate me to cause the war. Apparently, you feel he will still succeed. He will not succeed. And I've told you the truth, Mr. President. I have no part in his conspiracy. Grim flattery. You think my death could alter the course of history? There will be no war between sister states. What if the seceding states refuse to rejoin the Union? You have a way of speaking that suggests you have an insight into the future. I do, sir. Indeed. I've met other men who claimed the gift. Of course, their predictions can hardly ever be proved. But tell me your version of the future. Well, sir, you'll... Not about me. The nation. Will the Union be standing a decade from now? Yes. Even a century after the decade this nation will still be thriving. Neither of us will live long enough to test your prophecy, but it pleases me, nevertheless. Keep that man cover, Scott. If he tries to run, shoot to kill. Remain here, sir. spitting on them. Rabbits? Why, sure. Yeah. This section of town's home to half the rabbits in the county. Rabbits. to transfer Doug. Ray, can you do it? I haven't got a clear fix on him. Try for it. I don't want Doug placed in a time zone different from Tony's. And see if you can get an image of Tony. Mr. 
Mr. Pinkerton? I found the man who fired those shots, sir. Just a hunter after rabbits. Mr. Pinkerton, perhaps you've heard I'm a patient man. Yes, Mr. Lincoln, I have. It's a myth. I'm tired of this delay. I must get to Washington. Sir, we've got to take every precaution. If I leave it to you, Mr. Pinkerton, I'll spend my entire term in this building. Until I'm certain the danger's over, sir, you must stay here. Not here. I'm going out to my railroad car. Do what you must, but do it quickly. I have an inaugural speech to give, and it's not yet written. I'll walk with you, sir, and post a man outside your compartment. You can keep that man here for the time being. Yes, sir. the bomb. Lincoln will die. Let's go. No, no, no. If we cross this way, they can see us from the depot. Let's circle around to get back to the house. Once that bomb goes off, they'll be sending troops out to search the whole area. Matthew, we'll take David into the city for a few days and stay hidden. Come on. Let's go. I want the route across the city fine combed. Buildings, rooftop cellars, Scott arrest every suspicious character. By the time they're released, the president will be safe in Washington. Right. Carver, get to the train and tell the engineer to be ready to leave at any time. Right, sir. Stop that train! There's a bomb! Lincoln's here. Oh, you two know each other. Get everyone away from here. That bomb could go off at any time. What's this nonsense about a bomb? No one could have gotten near enough to place it. Listen to him, Pinkerton. That rabbit hunter could have been a ruse. This platform was left unguarded for a few minutes. Put the cuss on him, Carver. Put your hands up. <laughs> Thank you. 
Just do it over there. Just keep your mouth shut and move. Inside! Do you have enough power to transfer just the bomb? I'll have sufficient energy in 280 seconds. Bring the bomb into the tunnel. It's a primitive device. All we have to do is jam its dial to keep it from exploding. This should prove I'm telling the truth. All it proves is that you've burnt your wrist somehow. If you want the conspirators, I can lead you to their house. Sure, you'd like me to take all of my men and leave the president unprotected. Your orders were to stay on the train with the president. I insisted, Mr. Pinkerton. What was that shot I heard? Another one of the conspirators, sir. He's attempted a diversion, sending him out a bomb. There is a bomb, Mr. President. I can show them where it is. Is there a bomb, Mr. Pinkerton? No, sir. There's a simple way to prove it. I didn't show it to you. Why hasn't it gone off? It's a time bomb. Well, Mr. Pinkerton? Sir, uh, shall we go look for the bomb together, Mr. Pinkerton? No, sir. My job is to protect you, sir. From imaginary bombs? Well, there may be one, sir. Why, that's almost an admission that this man could be telling the truth. All right, sir, I'll investigate. Wait. Let me show you where it is. It might go off before you find it. Matt, where are you? Trust us, David. Son, do you know what that thing is you're holding? It's a kind of clock. I'd, uh, I'd like to see it, David. Would you show it to me? No, it's Jeremiah's. He wouldn't want nobody looking at it. Uh, uh, darling, you don't understand. We want you to bring it out here. That's hopeless. We've got to send him and the bomb back. We can't. Well, the bomb will destroy him, us, and the tunnel. I'm sorry. No, David, please listen to Prepare us. Prepare to transfer. Ray, Wait. David, that is not a clock. It's a bomb. Here, line. It's Jeremiah's clock. Bring it out here quickly, David. When that dial gets to zero, the bomb will explode. David, please. Bring it out while there's still time for us to stop it. Please. <laughs>
are you going to wait until it explodes? Do as I say. Not to get him to jam that dial. David, the dial. Can you turn it back? That will keep it from exploding. It won't budge. Then bring it here. We can't hold him much longer. Send him back. David, can you jam the dial? Do you have anything, anything in your pockets? Will this work? Try it. Wedge it in between the dial and the case. got to the depot, he might have taken Lincoln out of danger. What about David? Maybe he took David with him. That bomb should have gone off by now. He stopped it. He stopped the bomb. Why didn't you let me kill him? to find you. I saw the man who escaped. I ran to tell you, and then, then I found your clock. The clock? You found the clock? What did you do with it? Now, leave him be, Jeremiah. They said it was a bomb. No such thing, David. One of the men said it would explode, but I stopped it with a funny-looking tool. What man? What man are you talking about? One of the men in the cave. There's no cave around here. Leave the boy alone. I found the clock. Then all of a sudden, it was like I was in a big thunderstorm. And then the next thing, I was standing in a, some sort of cave, and everybody wanted me to come out. What kind of lying gibberish is this? I ain't lying. What did you do with the clock, David? I told you. I stopped it. Then I was in another storm, and right back near the depot. That's the truth. Where is the clock, David? Just tell me where it is. I left it. Down near the horse trough. All right, you're going to take me... No! No, they said it was a bomb. It might explode. Do you want to get caught? And David with you? Let's get away. i got to get that. No. No, we failed. Maybe it's a good thing. You give up mighty easily, Matt. I'm going to get on that train and I'm going to plant that bomb. I don't need your help. I can kill Lincoln by myself. You want to kill Lincoln? No, he doesn't mean it, David. No. He's old enough to know. Someday you'll understand. Someday the whole nation will be proud of your brother. That's all it is to you, isn't it, Jeremiah? Honor! People, people cheering you. You want to kill like it has nothing to do with our cause. Nothing to, to do with what we believe. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Back to the president and keep guard with the others. If anyone gets near the depot, shoot to kill. All right, now, we'll see it through. Take me to that house where you said you were held prisoner. It's down here. Man, wake up. Wake up, please. Told you? My job to doubt. Abolitionist incitements. Quotations from John Brown urging open revolt. Editorial calling the president a toady of the Southern cause. Mr. Pinkerton, if we were part of the plot against Lincoln, why would I bring you here? You still haven't proven there was a bomb. Under the sink, the cabinet, there's a box. your proof. Well, we better find that bomb before it goes off. Jeremiah might still be trying to get to him. He knows the president is at the depot. I better get back and quick. What about us? You two can go on about your own business. <laughs> Still after Lincoln, we gotta, we gotta find him. We gotta stop him. He won't be able to get to Lincoln. You gotta help me save Jeremiah. Keep him from murder. He'll be stopped. They're on the watch for him now. No, no, that's not what I want. I gotta stop him. I, I want to stop him. Now you gotta help. I know I, I saved your life. You owe it to me. You owe it to him. All right. All right, Matt, we'll help you. Where is he, do you know? Well, I, uh, he's headed back for the depot. Now, you get on back to the house and you stay there. Understand? Yes, Matthew. Now, go on, get it. <laughs> Yeah. 
soon be on our way, sir. Mr. Pinkerton, uh, I'm sure rumors of the conspiracy plot will find their way into the newspapers. It can be reported as more than rumors, sir. I can name the ringleader. It's not here. Jim, I must have got it. Look, he must be somewhere near the train. You and Matthew check the streets. I'll check the deep. Come on. Jeremiah, don't, don't try. Get out of here. I'm asking for yourself, for David. Let the president be. It just wasn't meant to be. No! <laughs> step neither one of you i came here to kill lincoln and if i have to get you too i'll do it well then you're gonna have to kill me too don't make me kill you matt kill me go on jeremiah kill me come from the time tunnel.
Thank you.